Greetings, everyone. My name is Pastor Mike Slater. I'm the parish assistant and also the moderator of deacons here at First United Presbyterian Church of Dale City. I want to take a minute to address some questions about deacons, questions that seem apparent only by reading between the lines of what we hear. Deacons started back during New Testament times, shortly after the resurrection and ascension of Christ. Stephen was the first deacon and also the first martyr for Christianity. The purpose of deacons in those days was to care for people who couldn't care for themselves, primarily widows and orphans. Today, this ministry is still one of caregiving. We start by establishing relationships with various members of the congregation so we may serve as the first point of contact when any crisis, large or small, happens in your life and you want to talk to someone who will listen attentively and keep it confidential. Make no mistake, deacons are not professional counselors, and we know our limitations and will not go beyond that. The type of help deacons give is the type that many folks have trouble asking for. No one wants to bother or interrupt someone else with his or her own issues, but that is exactly what deacons want you to do. We want to hear from you. When friends around you are ignoring your pain or giving you fix-it advice that doesn't really help, then oftentimes having someone who knows how to listen, really listen, and not just waiting for a chance to talk, is the best thing to put you on board to understanding the direction of your next step. Our deacons know how to do this. When you seem to hit a brick wall, call your deacon. And that brings us to the next question, who is your deacon? At all times, each deacon has a list of families and individuals whom they try to stay in touch with. Initially, this is done by assigning 10 to 12 family names to each deacon. And then on a regular basis, you should hear from your deacon by phone, email, or postcard. They may cross paths with you in church and stop for a few seconds of just pleasant chit-chat. You should know who your deacon is. Our deacon works in teams, so if, no, if one is not available, another serves as backup. Deacons serve a three-year term and cannot stay on board for longer than two terms before skipping some time so that others may have time to serve. Naturally, this means the roster of deacons changes every year, sometimes in the middle of a term if a deacon must drop out for personal reasons. Therefore, your assigned deacon may change from year to year. But we do, however, try to be flexible in roster changes. If a deacon and a member have a close relationship or are in the middle of giving care during a crisis, we certainly would not interrupt that. Even if a deacon finishes his or her term, the relationships that are built do not end. As we say, once a deacon, always a deacon. We are a church family, and your deacons are happy to serve. So stay in touch, and God bless you all.